I was wrong. I called Nisha Strike IR the best weapon in the game, but it's actually the nemesis. I come from a game called Grand Royale where I was widely considered to be the best assassin in the world. I was on top of the leaderboards for eliminations and wins as rank 1 EU for years. And since my switch to Fortnite, I've made it my goal to become the Sniper King. And for this, since the start of this season, I've been testing each weapon for hours at a time. And next to my sniping guide, I wanted to find out what the best sidearm is for the snipe. I analyzed every weapon deeply. And today we'll do the same with the Nemesis AR in three main steps. In step one, we talk about the base, the ideal loadout, as well as the most efficient attachments. In step two, we compare the Nemesis to the Striker AR, which is at the time still probably the most broken weapon in the game. At least that's what most people think. And in step three, we'll talk about strategy, meaning how to most efficiently use the Nemesis AR. We'll talk about the exact scenarios you want to use it in, at what distance, and especially having in mind how you play the Striker AR. My name is TSK, I am the Sniper King, and let's get into it. So, before we talk about the perfect loadout, let's cover the base. The Nemesis has high damage per shot, but medium DPS, which means it has a relatively slow fire rate, but it comes with very high accuracy. We'll talk about the accuracy more in attachments, because there I will explain how to level up this weapon quite a bit and turn it into a long range laser. But back to the base. The Nemesis has a good mag size, which combined with a slow fire rate makes it seem like it can shoot forever. <laughs> It also has really decent reload speed and by leveling up the rarity of the weapon you get not only more damage but also faster reload and better vertical recoil. In total it's a mid to long range AR but the accuracy makes it viable in mid to close range too. And as I said we can make it way more accurate with the right attachments but first we'll talk about the loadout. As I've come to the conclusion um, in all my other videos for this season as well the auto shotgun is the best shotgun in the game and it makes the most sense here as well because again as I said the nemesis is more of a mid to long range weapon and we will not have room for an SMG type of weapon in our loadout so we need our shotgun to cover close range of course but also that initial like 10 meter distance and yeah if you guys played the season you know the auto shotgun is probably the best shotty in the game I don't think we need to talk about this one much the other weapon we want to play together with the nemesis is the sniper rifle again the sniper rifle this season is absolutely crazy I've talked about it in depth in my sniper video make sure you watch that but very brief summary because the sniper rifle comes with multiple bullets at a super high attack speed that all one shot on headshot and has a really 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 fast bullet speed as well there is absolutely no way around the sniper rifle nothing will ever top it in efficiency because if you hit that headshot of course the fight is over right away and if you don't you have more bullets to spare behind than one but of course there will be situations where you only hit the body shot or don't hit at all and this is exactly where the nemesis plays in perfectly. You easily outrange all the other weapons in the game apart of the sniper rifle because again it is such a laser. Movement is your choice. I personally like the grapple blade because you do not ever run out of movement and to be honest this is probably the single thing that killed me the most so far this season especially of course in zero build guys. Running out of movement especially late game will probably mean certain deaths. Let's talk about heals and shields. Since the medallion nerf I think we absolutely have to carry shields again. It's either big shields or blue fish for me if you can consistently find enough blue fish go with them it's way faster heal than the big shields but you cannot really go wrong with big shields either guys especially since this chapter you can walk and shield okay let's talk attachments here we'll talk about how we maximize the efficiency before comparing the nemesis to the strike ir on the next point magazines both work in my opinion the drum rack will make sure you do not have to reload in a fight because again the base fire rate of the weapon is pretty slow so you can shoot for ages with this thing and you normally do not run out anymore once you have the drum rack if you struggled with this before, which I already don't think you do. But yeah, since the magazine is so large, you can also just go for a quick mech and make sure the downtime is even smaller. Let's get to the important attachments. The vertical grip is an absolute must and you need to combine it with the muzzle brake. These two attachments combined turn it into this long range laser I was talking about. And yeah, I have some absolute crazy clips with this one. Both attachments drastically reduce recoil. On some weapons, uh, the angle foregrip makes more sense, like for example, the sniper rifle. However, on the sniper Sniper rifle recoil really doesn't matter at all because the tech speed is slow enough that you can always easily reset your 
same as uh, with the nemesis of course you want to hold down that left mouse button or whatever the button is on controller and yeah obviously reduced recoil really helps with this the other reason is it still cannot compete at all with the smgs or the strike ar in very close range because dps is just gonna be too low and this is where usually you wanna play an angle for grip to just get a couple more bullets out than the enemy but if that doesn't matter it's much better to just get reduced recoil since we're gonna be shooting on longer range too where recoil really matters and yeah in total it's the better grip and the last attachment is gonna be the side I personally like the red eye the most. I have had success with the hollow as well. That one felt pretty good too. Especially since, again, we want to be playing on slightly longer range. The mystical does come with a 2 times scope. But with the 2 times scope, I personally like starting to tap fire more. You can try it, of course. I don't think it's bad at all. It does, however, slightly change the way we want to play the weapon. So I personally recommend staying with the red eye or the hollow if you like that extended zoom. Okay, as I said, point two. Nemesis versus Striker. Okay, for this one, I want to look at two different rarities. I'll explain why exactly later. And let's start with common. As you can see right away, the Nemesis is vastly behind the Striker on pure DPS. However, it's vastly ahead on damage per shot. Damage on medium range, damage on long range. And yes, as I said before, you can see here that the weapon is meant for long range. We'll talk about that point more in depth in the next big point, which is strategy. Uh, let's continue. Fire rate also on the side of the Striker AR. Magazine size and reload time on the Nemesis. And what this means is there is vastly more damage in total in the magazine of the Nemesis AR. Since we not only have more damage per shot, but also more bullets in total. Plus, once we're done, we also reload faster. This again means the Nemesis will vastly outperform the Striker on long range. And yeah, again, vertical recoil and horizontal recoil way better on the Nemesis too. And you also have to combine this with the fire rate. Since the fire rate is lower, we will feel the recoil less as as well so this plays together really nicely and shows us the main advantage one more time the nemesis is more consistent it is more accurate and way better at mid to long range and guys i also wanted to compare the two mystical weapons here in total of course we're gonna see the same stuff big difference is though that the nemesis already comes equipped with a two times scope which i personally again i'm not 100 percent happy with i would prefer a hollow at max since with the two times again it feels like you have to tap fire losing even more of the dps which of course gives the striker ar another advantage however the nemesis comes with one more extra advantage here and that is that getting the mystic nemesis ar is way easier than nisha striker AR. the reason is pretty simple nisha striker AR is way more popular it's gonna have way more people it's highly contested with the mystic nemesis it's not it doesn't really change the fact that i think nisha striker AR is very slightly better than montagu's enforcer AR. however it's a point to keep in mind because if you want to get consistent wins you obviously also want to get your weapons consistently okay but super important let's get to strategy first thing even though i just talked about the, <laughs> the mystical nemesis ar i recommend not going for it i recommend going for the mystical auto shoddy in lavish layer because i think getting this weapon will make winning way easier no matter what build you play and on top we can actually customize our nemesis this way so yeah once you have the nemesis out of the vault got all your attachments that we talked about near attachments category of the video we want to be beaming people from mid-range best case we start beaming after hitting one snipe shot to the body if of course we hit the headshot fight's already over if we don't you shoot once switch over and demolish your enemy in a second do not get too close do not get in striker ar slash thunderburst smg distance or they will out dps you easily by the way check out my thunderburst smg video start beaming them until they either die or realize they cannot compete with you on long range get the advantage aka deal more damage to them than they did to you first before the final push with the shotgun and do never be afraid to trade shots on mid range because again you will 100% outperform every single weapon in the game however make sure you strafe well enough against sniper rifles as of course they can take you out in one shot okay guys let's summarize while the nemesis ar lacks close range dps it is an absolute mid range laser it feels like it never runs out of ammo with the drum mech because of the low fire rate plus big max size it is insanely accurate and super satisfying to shoot and i have to say it is my preferred mid-range weapon over the strike ir over the 
on the Buster SMG. And in my opinion, the best mid-range option is a follow-up to your sniper rifle. Talked about it many times this video. The absolute key to perfecting this build as well as winning in this season in total is having the perfect sniper loadout. I've been saying it in the last couple of videos as well. Go watch my in-depth sniper guide on how to snipe better and how to optimize your sniper rifle. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and subscribe, guys, if you feel like you learned anything from this video or you appreciate the effort. Again, thanks for watching. It's really cool to me. I'm just a very small channel and it's so nice to finally find a little bit of success here. Last couple of videos have been popping. And yeah, love you guys. I'll see you next time. Go watch the sniper video. Bye. Clapped. Absolutely clapped.